Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make gradient background animation. And this is the finished product that we are going to be making and as you can see it is a gradient background animation and the best part is that we're going to be making it using just CSS3 properties so no JavaScript, no jQuery, no nothing. Okay, now that you have seen this, let's go ahead and code it. So, what we're going to do is open up our code editor. And first of all, here in, in, let's start with our HTML. So, as you saw, we're going to be placing in one heading and we'll say gradient background animation. And yes, that, that is it for our HTML. Now head to CSS and first of all, let's target our body. And right here, let's place background property. And as you saw, we are going to be using linear gradient. And this right here has few properties. So the first one is we need to set the degrees that the gradient will follow so if we would use for example zero degrees then the first color will start at the bottom and then transition to the second color so let's for now play zero degrees and our first color will be the code for it will be ec5218 and the second color be 1665 C1. Let's save it. Have a look at it. As you can see, yeah, this is our, our gradient. As you can see, here is the first color, and here is the second color, and it transitions. But we're not going to be using zero degrees, we're going to be using 132 degrees. And let's save it. Have a look at it. This, as you can see, it starts right here and then transitions to the second color right around there so next one is let's increase our background size its size will be 400 and 400 and that is because we're going to be using background position property to uh, move that background and to achieve our animation and you will see that later on so it can save it and also have a look at it as you can see it's being stretched that background okay now let's set in our animation the animations first of all name uh, for this animation I will set in background gradient uh, animation will happen over 30 seconds the function for it will be ease and it is going to be infinite animation so th that means it will happen over and over again so let's save it okay now let's place in our animation so at keyframes then we can copy and paste our animation name copy paste and in here let's first of all set our 0% then 50% and 100% and what these percentages basically mean is that what will happen to various properties at 0 seconds at in this case 15 seconds because we set the animations duration to 30 seconds so at 15 seconds what is going to happen and at 30 seconds what is going to be happening to various properties and as I told you before we're going to animate the background position property so let's set it in background position position and first of all zero percent that is on x axis and 50 percent on y axis and 
what these zero percent means basically is that the background's left side will be positioned at the left side of the screen and then at the 15 percent let's set in background position we'll move it at 100 percent and 50 percent and these 50 percent that means that the background will be positioned at the center of our web page on y axis so at 50 percent or 15 seconds into animation the background will be moved so that the background's right side is positioned right up against the screen's right side and at 100 percent we're going to move back into this position right here so we can just copy and paste it save it we can have a look at it as you can see it moves see from the left to the right side and then at those 15 seconds it is going to move in the opposite direction and as you can see we need to do some styling to make it looking a bit better so then let's target our h1 heading first of all let's set the position to absolute and what i'm going to do here is center align this uh, this h1 heading so i have made a video previously how to do it so i'm not going to explain it into detail but go ahead find that video and you can watch it in detail how to position uh, on the x and y axis the text on your web page so next is left position 50 percent up also 50 percent let's transform whoops translate it on x on x axis minus 50 percent and translate it also on y axis also minus 50 percent then let's set the font family to open sans and sitting up sans serif in this case font weight will be 400 let's transform the text to uppercase let's center align the text increase the font size to two M's in this case also we'll give it a background color and the color will be black and the last thing is let's give it a padding of five pixels all around so save it go ahead to our browser refresh it okay and as you can see we need to change the color for our text so right in here color and it will be white save it can refresh our page and yes as you can see we have our animation and our and our heading as it should be so as you saw it was really simple to make and I hope you understand all the properties that you need to change to get it looking as you want it to because obviously you can change all the colors all the animation durations and so on and also it doesn't have to be a background of whole web page that you're animating we can also for example animate this background for our h1 heading and all you have to do is is let's highlight this text copy it paste it here and let's just comment this out save it go ahead to our browser and yes as you can see we have the background of our h1 heading also being animated and so you can obviously use it to animate buttons and various other banners if you like to let's change it back let's delete it save it and yes this is the animation that we just made and as you saw it was really simple to make and gives a 
I think really beautiful effect and uh, really fresh effect to your website or to any other element on your website so yes thank you for watching uh, please do check out other videos and subscribe if you like these videos to never miss the next video that I'm, I'm making and yes this is it for now so thank you and see you next time bye